everyone. Welcome to our lightning talk, Teaching, Cultivating an Open Faculty Guide for Diversity and Social Justice. In this lightning talk, we're going to discuss the following. First, we'll share who we are. Then we'll talk about the Lake Washington Institute of Technology's mission. We'll discuss the launch of the Diversity and Social Justice, or DSJ, requirement at the college. We'll discuss the DSJ faculty training involved with that requirement. We'll go into open educational resources at LW Tech and discuss the first DSJ press books release, as well as the second edition of the book and the future of the project. So before we start talking about the press book, we would like to introduce ourselves. Hi, everyone. My name is Sharon, and I am a professor and the faculty director of diversity and social justice in Lake Washington Institute of Technology in Kirkland, Washington. And hello, everyone. My name is Greg Bem. I'm one of the faculty librarians and the library coordinator at Lake Washington. So, Lake Washington Institute of Technology is the first institute of technology in Washington state. Uh, we are a small technical college that offers basic educations for adults, professional and technical certificates and degrees, and few applied bachelor degrees. We have around 5,000 students uh, each quarter. Uh, we have um, about 85 full-time professors, and the majority of our faculty are part-time adjunct instructors. As you can see from the table, our um, racial diversity um, is a bit problematic. Uh, when you look at the students' uh, population, about half of our students identify as whites, uh, about 30% identify as people of color, and 20% chose not to uh, report. If you compare it to the faculty diversity, you can see that 85% of our faculty identify themselves as white. So we can uh, recognize uh, a racial diversity uh, that is different uh, students versus faculty. So our college's mission is to prepare students for today's careers and tomorrow's opportunities. And as a workforce college, we really believe that we're supporting them as they go into their work. Uh, in today's culturally diverse global workforce, this mission above goes beyond teaching our students technical skills they use in their industry. We believe that it's important that our students have the knowledge and skills that prepare them for the multicultural workplaces they're entering and prepare them as members of the broader communities in which they live. And that is why in the fall of 2021, we launched a new requirement, a diversity and social justice requirement, or as we call it, a DSJ requirement, which focuses specifically on diversity and social justice and applies it to all programs of the college. It really reinforces our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, and um, what's special about our program is that students are not expected to choose from a limited number of courses, but every student, every AA or certificate students are expected to take at least one DSJ designated class, and it can be from multiple areas of the college. Uh, it is woven in an equity lens, so this requirement does not add cost or additional time to meet the requirement degree. So faculty who are interested in teaching DSJ classes have, have to go through a pretty intensive training that lasts a quarter. Uh, and throughout the spring of 2021 and 2022, 50 faculty members, both full-time and part-time uh, faculty, participated in a quarter-long training. Uh, the main goal of this training is to form a community of teachers and learners that focus on diversity and social justice. Uh, and through this, land, th this training, uh, we talked about social justice pedagogies, and together we developed a shared classroom practices, activities, and resources. These resources 
are the materials that we use for the press book. So throughout this training, we, we now have more than 50 different classes from different fields, different areas of the college. As you can see from this list, these are lists of um, professional programs that offer DSJ courses throughout their degrees. It means that a student who, for example, takes uh, architecture can take a DSJ class as part of their pathway. And we also have some general education classes that students can choose from. You can see that they come again from different fields. We have science DSJ classes, humanities, math, social science, and English. We even offer DSJ classes as part of our high school programs. So we have an extensive history of open educational resources at the college. And it's actually been work that we've been doing for the last decade. Recently, the college subscribed to Pressbooks, which is a platform for in-house OER book development. We started in 2020 and 2021, and we continue into the new 2022-2023 year. Since we've started using Pressbooks as a platform for putting out books, we've already completed multiple books including not only their creation in the platform, but their release into the community. In addition to press books, we also, through our bookstore, print faculty created OER to uh, provide printed materials to our students at a low cost. And we utilize platforms like OpenStax and Lumen for the distribution of content. We have a great OER webpage on our website, lwtech.edu slash OER, which provides an overview of the OER initiatives at our college. So we decided to use the Pressbooks platform to create a Pressbook for all of the wonderful material that Sharon discussed in the previous slides that the faculty that were participating in the training came up with. The original Pressbook is a compilation of resources from that original training. It includes a variety of resources and lesson plans that are embedded in the book, and all of the contributions are used with permission from the faculty, and these original authors have been credited in the book. The approach and conceptualization of DSJ education are discussed in the first parts of the book as well. So we structure this press book around the DSJ learning outcomes. So to be approved and designated as a DSJ course, student learning outcomes and course content must satisfy four outcomes from three different categories. So in each category, there are multiple options for learning outcomes and each faculty can choose whatever learning outcomes fit their class. So the three groups are power, privilege, and inequity, difference, and communication. Our audience for this first book are college educators from all disciplines who are interested in incorporating social justice education into their classes. We already started uh, sharing this first book in different uh, conferences and with our peers in the Washington college system. So we're not done yet. The first edition is out and distributed, shared with the world. We're also working with faculty that have entered the next round of the training to create a second edition. So the 2022 edition is forthcoming with these new con contributions from 14 new faculty. This new Pressbook release will be the first updated edition OER released at the college. We're super excited about that because previous books have just come out and they've been single editions. This will be the first second edition. All of the original contributions will be retained and will be in the book. And we'll continue to think about future editions uh, released on an annual cycle. So thank you for listening to us. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about OER in Lake Washington, about how we use Pressbook or about our DSJ program, please don't hesitate to contact either Greg or myself. Thank you. Thank you.